I found out my 31 male, ex-wife 27 female, cheated on me while she was pregnant. Now she says I'm emotionally manipulative because I'm cold and distant during custody switches, plus update. Last year, while she was six months pregnant, I, 31 male, discovered that my now ex-wife, 27 female, had been cheating on me. The affairs occurred both before and after the pregnancy. She had reasons and excuses for not getting a divorce. She wanted to be together and have couples counseling. I advised her to go ahead and receive treatment, but infidelity was a deal-breaker for me, so we divorced. She moved back in with her parents, who had ample space to build up a nursery, and gave my ex the guest room since the home was mine when we married. My wife is our daughter Sunday Wednesday and the original plan was for her to drop her off at daycare on Wednesday morning and my nanny would pick her up around noon and bring her back to my house where my daughter would stay with me until Saturday night or Sunday morning depending on what worked best for everyone. Then, my ex stated she feared the daycare was misplacing some of the items she was bringing in for her to bring to my house since our daughter had come home a few times without certain bottles or her pinky. So X stated she wanted to drop our kid off at our home straight to ensure that all of her belongings arrived at my place. So she began bringing her up from daycare and dropped her off here during her breaks. On Wednesdays and Fridays, I work from home. Nonetheless, I'm working. It was usually about 12.30 when X started dropping Nadine down at my place. Since I was in my office working, my daughter's nanny, a wonderful elderly woman from Barbados, not sure of her age but I'd estimate late 50s, 60s, was the one to open the door for my ex and remove my daughter and her belongings. When she arrived, ex said that she wanted to meet with me personally. She felt like she was dumping a lie on the nanny and didn't want her to forget to tell me anything, she said. I'd be lying if I claimed I didn't have animosity and hate against my ex. But I don't want my daughter to see that, so when I speak to my ex, I try to be as emotionally equal as possible just talking about topics that are relevant to my daughter and nothing else. Aideen had a dirty diaper at today's drop-off, so her nanny brought her upstairs to change her. When my ex inquired how I was, I told her I was fine and thanked her before beginning to go back to my office. She sees herself out, she used to live there. You know, I'm getting really sick of your trash, she says as I walk away. I didn't even get a chance to ask her what she was talking about before she began flipping out. Screaming I was emotionally manipulating, her by being cold and aloof, that she shouldn't be punished eternally for her sins, and that hating her is the same as hating my kid. I let her finish ranting before telling her to go. I believe my best option is to avoid further interaction with her and to stop seeing her for drop-offs. But I was hoping to get some other viewpoints or ideas on the subject from you if you have any. Edit. I took a paternity test after discovering she cheated and my baby is mine. Update. I keep telling myself that in five or ten years, the unpleasant and betrayed sentiments I have for my ex-wife will most certainly dissipate, but a hostile relationship between the two of us will have a long-term influence on our daughter. As a result, I met down with my ex-wife and taped a talk regarding our predicament. I was really honest and forthright with her. I informed her that although I still had bad sentiments for her as my ex-wife, as the mother of my kid, I would always treat her civilly and politely, but that we needed to set limits. I informed her that we're going back to our original plan of dropping her off at daycare in the mornings and having my nanny pick her up in the afternoons. We'll convey which products to be delivered home with her through the internet, so the nanny can double-check that she has everything. My ex-wife isn't pleased. I believe she came to my home in the hopes of reconciling, but I informed her gently, but unequivocally, that it was never going to happen, but I would want to see our relationship blossom as fantastic copperants of a lovely young girl and maybe one day friends. Story 2. Me, 22 male with my wife, 22 female, 2 years married, 7 years together, 2 children, she cheated and now I am having a very hard time trusting her. So, when we married, I became really unattentive and unaffectionate. I'm not sure why I did it, and I now regret it. I believe I simply felt, subconsciously, that this was done, that this was my life now, and that I didn't have to strive any longer. Nothing will ever alter the fact that she is my wife for the rest of my life. So, after approximately six months of my working, spending time with my children, and then doing whatever I wanted after they went to bed, either working out or playing video games, she began to express her dissatisfaction. I'm not saying I never spent time with my wife, but it was unusual, and we seldom went out on our own. This was mostly owing to the fact that we didn't have much money, she was a stay-at-home mom and I felt horrible leaving our children with their grandparents for extended periods of time. 
A year has passed, and we have been married for a year and a half. Throughout this period, once or twice a month, she would want me to be more attentive and kind, and she would complain about how sad she was. She'd begun drinking on a daily basis, and I'd simply tell her how stupid it was to get drunk every night. I eventually persuaded her to start taking antidepressants. They were genuinely doing a fantastic job. She seemed to be happy. I was allowed to do what I wanted without being chastised, and things were going well. That lasted approximately two or three months until she informed me that the medicines were no longer effective. I advised her to consult with her doctor. He increased the dose, and she continued to take them. We went on a family vacation with her family in February of this year. By this point, she hated me again, and on the second day of the vacation, she told me that she was very unhappy, but later that night, her mother told her that they, mom and dad, thought I was great and that they were very happy she was with someone who didn't drink alcohol, took care of things financially, and was completely non-abusive. They were relieved that they didn't have to be concerned about her well-being since she had a decent spouse. At this point, I had still not accepted responsibility for what was occurring. I blamed her for everything that went wrong. She returned to our room, woke me up, and told me what they had said. She informed me that everything was her fault and that she would try to make things right, and that she knew I was a wonderful spouse. On the way back home, she was already agitated and despondent. When we came home, she expressed a wish to see her female cousin who lived approximately 30 minutes away. I was cool with it since I felt it would make her happy. I had no idea she'd be going every night. Every day at 5 p.m., she'd leave for her cousin's place as soon as I came home from work. Every Saturday at 12 p.m., I would depart for the day, and she would not return until Sunday night. It began to disturb me after a time and I was concerned that something more was going on, so I obtained her text message records and discovered that she was messaging a certain number all day every day, as well as early in the morning, anywhere from midnight to 5 a.m. So I became quite irritated about that, and I looked up a name for the number on the internet. I asked her about him since it was a guy's name. She informed me they were excellent friends and that she was assisting him at a difficult period. Obviously, this did not make sense to me. She contacted him way too often to just be pals. So I took it a step farther. I obtained her test message transcripts and read what they discussed word by word. I was really taken aback. She was always telling him how much she missed him, how much she enjoyed spending time with him, and how she couldn't wait to see him every day, and to top it all off, they had a pregnancy scare. I just couldn't believe it. I never imagined my wife would cheat on me. The following day, I questioned her about it. She was gone for the weekend, like usual. She only asked when I wanted her to go. I told her I didn't and that all I wanted to do was mend things so we could spend time together. She agreed, but it was nonsense. I began to strive to be a decent spouse. I did dishes, massaged her, and often told her I loved her. I tried all I could to make her happy, but she was simply frigid. She told me she still despised me and doubted she'd ever love me again. Then she informed me she was chatting to another man, so I ordered her to go. She lived with her grandparents for a time before moving out on her own. I was quite dissatisfied. I had never drank before all of this, but now I was drinking every night to get drunk so I wouldn't have to think about things. I loved my wife, but she screwed me over. She was quickly contacting me requesting or wanting to get back together twice or three times a week. She would call me and tell me how much she loved me and how sorry she was for what had happened. No, I told her. I didn't want to say no, and it was difficult since I adore my wife. I've always adored her, even when I wasn't paying attention. I just did not demonstrate it. After three months of not seeing her, I decided I wanted to rekindle our relationship. I loved her and was devastated, but I reasoned that even if I didn't love her, which I do, it would be worth it merely to give my kids back their home. We're back together now. We've been dating for a month, and I'm experiencing problems. I'm still trying to be a nice husband and make her feel loved, doing dishes, snuggling, massage but if she refuses me anything and holding, cuddling, I get angry because I assume she's thinking about someone else. I've been awake many nights thinking about what she did and how easy she could do it again. I want to back off since I don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth, but I'm afraid to fear she could cheat again. I'm not sure how to get over it or what to do, and I'm terrified that she'll cheat on me again at some time.